Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today a big update came out in the form of a video that pretty much announced that Sledgehammer Games has completely reworked the divisions and some other really big core features of the game. So let's check out some of the stuff we got here. First off, a pretty big change for a boots on the ground game, and also because this is a COD game that's based in the past, but there will be unlimited sprinting for all players, and a lot of people have argued and rallied for this, and personally, I never even thought Sledgehammer would consider this idea, but after Country left, you know, it really did open up the doors for a lot of things. And I really do think Aaron Halen, the new guy, is really paying close attention to what the fans have to say. And yeah, we finally do have unlimited sprinting. But now moving on to divisions, each division skill will become their own standard attachment. So for example, when you pick your class, you will be able to select whether or not you want to put a suppressor on your rifle. Or maybe you want to use the LMG bipod on your sniper. That's how it's going to play out. And I am super excited for this change. It does add more custom customization for sure and it definitely does open up the door to more combinations and strategies but now moving on to the division abilities each division is also getting a new ability to fit the play style and the ones that were not used as often will be getting balanced so for example the expeditionary division you couldn't really use that if you use a submachine gun uh, but again it will be getting balanced for all weapons so check out the infantry division here they have the additional primary attachment a second pistol attachment and swap weapons faster while ads you have less idle way and you move faster while aiming and then next up here for the airborne division we have fire guns while sprinting and diving reload while sprinting climb over obstacles faster and have no fall damage and sprint faster over time the airborne division does sound really really good with this rework I'm pretty happy about this because I'm a heavy sub user and these new changes are going to really complement how I play the game now moving on to the armor division you will take significantly less explosive damage and fire damage you are immune to to shell shock and tactical equipment, an increased bullet penetration through surfaces, and lastly, you greatly reduce flinch when shot. The armor division is looking really, really good as well. And then for the mountain division, you are able to be invisible to enemy recon aircraft and controlled shrieks. The killed enemy death location indicator is hidden. There is no name or reticle change when enemies aim at you. And then of course, silent movement. For the expeditionary division, there is also double lethal and tactical enhanced equipment use, munition replenish from killed enemies over time there is an improvement to tacticals and easier to destroy war buildables and last equipment damage paints the enemies on the minimap so it's kind of like espionage but for the equipment and uh, finally for the resistance division there is a minimap indicator and scrambler of close hostiles enemy movements are easier to adhere and then kills and assists grant intel ping of nearby enemies and lastly easier to spot targets and increase minimap coverage so guys these are all the new division reworks we're going to be getting getting here and they do sound very very cool it definitely does open up more doors for customization and uh, I'm very very excited about this the division changes seem very promising like since the game has came out the divisions main focus was more on the weapon not really the play style of the player but now with these changes that gets added back into the game also guys primed is completely removed and added to every single loadout so again more customization to the player you could argue that primed was a crutch perk in the game even after all the updates it had but now it's completely getting removed and yeah I like this change a lot and then one last thing guys in the trailer when the guy was hovering over the division perks if you take a look at the attachments what is the fourth one there I'm gonna try and zoom in as best as I can but that is not an attachment in the game I, I really don't know what it is uh, my guess is it's possibly the noob tubes I mean I heard that there is gonna be a couple of other brand new divisions and uh, they're they're found in the code by the way and then one of them was said to add noob tubes to your weapon so maybe this has something to do with that uh, but I'm still not entirely sure you can also see the attachment on the weapon as well uh, with the guy's character but I mean I don't know guys tell me thoughts about this down below in the comments it really does seem interesting guys again all these updates sound very very promising more than promising actually all of this is gonna be added on April the 10th so this coming Tuesday and uh, also there is gonna be paint jobs paint jobs will be coming on Tuesday along with four men rank play so uh, World War 2 is looking pretty dang good right now I, I really am kind of looking forward to getting on this game finally and you know having the motivation to uh, play a Call of Duty game is, is so so um, amazing right now. I've been playing a lot of Fortnite and uh, doing a lot of schoolwork actually. I haven't really had the desire to get on and play Call of Duty World War 2 that much but after these changes I, I they do sound promising and I really cannot wait to you know see what's in store for the game. Again the DLC is also going to be coming out on Tuesday and yeah World War 2 is looking very promising guys so tell me thoughts about this down below in the comments.
comments, tell me your thoughts about the changes. Also, drop a like if you guys did enjoy the video. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Till next time, I'll see you later.